Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Blood. A first-person shooter from the past that I never actually got around to playing. Or should I say, uh, finishing. This is about as far as... I've actually gotten in the game. Can I jump to the other side? Oh, hello. Let's see if I can do that without losing so much health. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. Wow. You take a lot of damage really quick like in this game. Nope. And unfortunately, there are all these flames, so I can't exactly back up that easily. So, I might as well just uh, slowly shotgun this guy to death. Excellent. And I believe they're all dead. You are still alive somehow. Ah, some TNT. I could always use some extra dynamite. Also, the train that had crashed was the Phantom. Six, six, six. Wow, this promises to be fun. Does it? Hold on, wow. No, like, just a couple wow, of seconds. This promises to be fun. And I dropped all the way to like 27 health. Yeah, you, you... Like, you take damage... ...quite quickly in this game. But apparently, we're at the carnival. Alright, let's try to run in, grab this, and then back off. Are you guys okay in the water, or...? Are they still alive down there? Can enemies swim? Can I swim? One easy way to find out. Oh, not only are they still alive, but there are also deadly fish. So in that case, shall we do some underwater exploration? And they're apparently very rapid swimmers. Let's leave that guns akimbo. Definitely pick up all this ammo. Because we will need it. Uh, can I easily get back to shore? Yes, I can. Maybe. Okay. There we go. The Cougar and Darks. Pandemonium Shadow Show. I suppose that sounds exciting. Take it, please. 
Do I need to um Do I need to worry about these mimes? Not just brains, but more brains. They need all of the brains. Are you a threat of some kind? Or are you just a mime? I hate mimes. <laughs> are they really that bad? Ooh, hold on. There is a... Life seed. Can I? Can I reach it? Don't know why I cannot. I'm simply too large to enter that. He's uncontrollable. Jojo, the idiot circus boy. Oh, wait, hold on. Did he say Kool-Aid or Kool-Aid? Ah! Rotten candy. I have a feeling something happens if I get one of these skulls inside there. Hmm, nope. Nope. Open up. Nope. Hmm. Let's try that again. Nope, that spat it right back out. That's... Oh my... Oh, Jesus. Alright. Let's save our game here. Yeah, we don't want to put too much. Too much gusto. Let's wait for the teeth to lower. There we go. Do I need to get all three heads? Ah, there we go. You get a Cupid doll? What is the button for a Cupid doll? Is that a thing? Is that the... Hmm. Oh. No, I see it right there. Limited vul invulnerable... Oh my god, blah, 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 blah. Limited invulnerability? I need a key. I'm definitely going to have to take advantage of that. Well, you're you're killing all of the people who are here. So, so that kind of limits the participants. All right, that was very useful. 
for a very... All right, what do I get for this? I won, I won, I won, I won, I won. Pathetic insects. Re relax, Caleb. They're, they're just mimes. Seeing is believing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got the invisibility on. you also I appreciate the one of us one of us ah, shotgun shells <laughs> nice I smile yourself oh okay so this circles around back here Seeing is believing. Crazy, bizarre, goony, sloth, the happy mutant. Let's see, do we want to see Jojo the Idiot Circus Boy or Happy Go Pukey Fortunes? Let's go with Jojo first. Um, let's go with Dynamite. Excellent. Yeah, this game does. When it comes to the I blood want department. Jojo. I want Jojo. 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 Calm thyself, Caleb. Oh my gosh. That light is flickering so fiercely. And also, like, yeah. D -d -d just because Jojo is here to entertain you does not mean that you need to push Jojo around. Jojo has feelings too. All right, let's try to avoid looking in the direction of all those flickering lights. Whoa. Ooh, that, this is actually kind of neat. What happens if I fall into the, uh... Into the glistening textures? Okay, basically, like, snakes that just kind of eat you. Ta-da! Wow. So actually, I need to cross... Ta -da. And then cross back... Excellent. No shortcuts when it comes to gravity, I suppose. I have a feeling this is the uh, fortune teller. Happy go pukey. I need a key. Mmm, I need a key. I have a key. Locked. Locked. Test your strength, puncho meter. What do I win? Locked. Anything? Nothing. Locked. 
Um, this is the other side of the uh, dock area. Reflective shots. I didn't try this one out. I'm not a big fan of how the the reflective shots makes everything um, very dark, very dim. Oh, thank you. Anything else in here? That is actually a lot easier than just pitchforking. Excellent. Body armor seems somewhat useful. Oh my gosh. Oh, is this the other side of the train? And there is a harp. Like a harpoon gun thing up there. Yeah, the this is, would be the other side of the train. Carriage 666. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Never mind. That looked like it would be a, um... There we go. Oh my. Ah, and this probably... Ah, it's uh, Richard Kimball's uh, prisoner uniform as seen in the movie The Fugitive. Okay, it's basically more of a missile launcher, but that's fine. Still good to have. Do we get a nice quote from Caleb? We get nothing. All right, let us circle back around, figure out where we were going with what we were holding out. Oh, whoops. Okay, so those are not bad guys. That is just... Nope, those are bad guys. You take a lot of shots. That took a bit. Anything here? Oh, okay. Locked. Oh my gosh. 
So let's go through story. Nope. Let's go through Happy Go Pukey. Oh, back here. All right. Interesting how this level is just so inter... Mm, interconnected with itself. Right up. Right up. While also being a bit of a maze. So we went that way. Let us go this way. Actually, no, wait. This, uh... Yeah, that's that door. I picked up a key to some other door, which I could... I presumably could not access. But I have no... memory as to where said room, said door would have been. Oh, I think it's right here. Hold on a second. Um, let's go up here. Excellent. Now let's carry on. Huh. So basically the game is forcing you to go underwater a bit. Nope. Am I being chased after by fish? I don't think so. Well, probably have to avoid uh, dying of oxygen loss. Anything in this direction? Oh, hello. Get out of the water. Finally. Okay. I guess he could just stay there if he wants. Right. It seems as though the fun in games is over now. Alright, let's save our game for the beginning of the level. That's episode one, level... Five. Uh, let's see if that dynamite's gonna blow up, save our game. And I see one of those demon guys over there. Uh, let's see if a napalm launcher helps reduce him down to size. Yes, it does. Getting a little bit low on health. I still have the doctor's bag, though. So there's at least that. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, uh, full up on shotgun shells.
Let's try that again. Except... Yeah, the enemies react very quickly in this game. And they seem to be heartless, which is... Yeah, that one dropped some life essence. I need a key. Okay, so that requires a key, that requires a key. He dropped his life essence. Excellent. Very kind of you, sir. Oh my gosh. A lot of people just kind of standing around in corners, waiting to take pot shots at me. All right, now we're slightly safer than we were before. Why does this look like a trap? Because it's a trap. Excellent, actually. Anybody in these other doors? Are you dead? No, you're just pretending. Ah, a doctor's bag. I mean, I might as well just use my own doctor's bag. Um, let's go around the other side, clear that other side first, and then... And then worry about picking up that doctor's bag, which I think was a smart move on my part. Considering this area has its own collection of bad guys. Let's see, does this go to the... Excellent. Uh, let's get some air, because air is important. Alright, now there was a switch under here that did probably something somewhere. Where did you guys come from? Ah, you came from here. You will know what to do when the time comes. Okay. Actually, hold on. Wow.
I definitely screwed myself over with this uh, quick save. I was thinking that was going to open up into a box of some kind that I could open. And not, like, have the walls around it just kind of drop away and then I get surrounded by bad guys. That in turn immediately try to kill me. Um, so let's uh, restock that doctor's bag while we're here. So not too many sticks of dynamite to get rid of him. Okay, that's probably nothing then. Alright, what was I doing? I was doing something somewhere with someone for some reason. I'd gotten a key. To this? Yes. To that? I need a key. No. Anybody on? Somebody got excited about something. I'm not entirely sure where those guys came from. Uh, let's try to avoid getting killed by these guys immediately. Let's, uh... Oh, that's where that guy comes from. All right. Hello. Ah, hello. There we go. We got rid of him. Do we kill any bystanders in the process? Nope, this guy's still alive. Alright, that nearly killed me. Um, did anybody, uh, was anybody kind enough to drop their life essence? Ah, invisibility. life essence sitting in a corner.
Okay. I'm officially lost. Oh, hello. Oh, damn, damn. That was, uh, not the one I thought I had equipped. All right. In my, uh, running around being invisible, I seem to have misplaced as to where I came for and where I was going. I've clearly been here before, though. Have I been here? Yes. Yeah, okay. I've circled my way all the way back around to the... That is... That makes for this, this game have some interesting... Uh, level design, in that, like, that's a, a lot of areas constantly are circling back on itself. Like now, I'm back at the that previous area with the upper where the doctor's bag was. Um, I guess let's go across the hall. I need a key. Hmm. Never mind. That door uses a key that I do not have. All right, one second while I see if I can find where I'm supposed to go. Oh yeah, I didn't really explore this area that much. This kind of like garden area. I kind of went down and then left. It just circles back around. All right. Oh, my. There we go. And now we got that. Hmm. So now I can... Go to that... Moon door, was it? Yeah. Yep, I don't necessarily need... How is my... Yeah, I probably should just use some of these bullets because I have an excess of them. Interesting. Two portals lead to certain death. Choose wisely. Okay, um, I've got teeth, I've got regular door, I've got... Let's try teeth door.
Oh. This is just the end of the level. Did I guess right then? Let's save our game and take a look at what I would would have happened if I chose a different door. Oh, wrong door. <laughs> Well, good job me for guessing right. All right. I think this is where I'm going to stop for the night. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves... a good night.